Hello, my current and future creators. Um, today, I'll be making a video on how to do, how to add bones and weight paint them to your body for different needs. You know, jiggle physics, hair. Uh, I don't know something you want to add that you're being creative with. Uh, so yeah, this is this this is for VR chat specifically. It is a lot of creators who. Uh, you know, use use Blender and import it to Unity and upload to VR Chat, and so I wanted to uh, help out with that because I've been doing a lot recently, and it's not too difficult. You just kind of got to know how to. You guys understand what you got to do, and then the actual part of doing it is not too difficult. So, uh, yeah. So you can use this method. Uh, usually, I use it for either adding breast bones here if a model does not come with them, or maybe adding some. Uh, physics to the butt or the thighs or say like this bun did not come with any so I added some here uh, things like that so uh, yeah I'll show you how to do that so in this case I already added some up here uh, but just for the sake of this video I'm going to uh, go into edit mode on my bones let's have that selected uh, and delete these and I'll show you what I how to do this from scratch. Okay. So say like, oh man, all right, you know, I have a bun here, but I don't want it to be stagnant. I want it to move, you know, be a little bit dynamic, add down some dynamic bones or whatever you want in Unity. Uh, so what you can do is right click the the head of the bone. So this is uh, sorry, the, the tail. This is the head. The the starting part where it's bigger is the head, then the ending part is the tail. If you select the bone, you push E to extrude. When you're in edit mode, you get this. If you push in the middle scroll wheel on the mouse, uh, it'll lock it to an axis depending on how you do that. So if you kind of mess fiddle with it, keep clicking it in. Uh, this is the y, um, y axis here. I want to drag mine out to kind of get a similar shape to what I want. You can right click the bone, left click to select that, and uh, disconnect it. So if you click on the bone, go to the bone little tab here. Now it'll move separately because if it's connected, if that's checked, it'll move the bone it's parented to with. So once you get that, you can click G to move it around, uh, G and then push in the scroll wheel. Again, it'll move it along the axis so you don't get all messed up. And then you can just keep using the G and middle mouse to kind of position them how you want. If you push five, you get an orth orthographic, three and one on the numpad, and seven and nine, they all kind of change different positions. So. Uh, you can mess around with that a little bit, but once you get into like a side view here, I'm gonna use it to uh, position that here and here maybe. And uh, what I'll do here is I want a little bit better motion. I don't want just like one. So what I can do is select the bone, hit W when you're in edit mode, and right here, subdivide, it'll split it into two, just like that. And uh, then what you can do, since you have it in two separate bones now is, uh, Make sure they're positioned how you want them. I think it's fine for this purpose, for this case. Uh, now what you can do is you can go into pose mode under right down here when you have the um, any of the bones selected here and then it'll go blue instead. And that's the uh, pose mode function. I uh, wanna make sure you go to armature here, go to pose position so you can move it. And in this case, I actually remembered my bones here, but uh, let's say that when you move them and you just place them, they, they shouldn't have any movement. They, they will not because they have no, it's not assigned to any mesh, it's not weight painted, so if you move this, it shouldn't move at all. Uh, so what you wanna do is select the mesh you want. Uh, some of these will be separated, like this time it's just the hair, but uh, you can have the whole body or whatever. Um, if you have it separated out more closely to what you want, like since I won't be weight painting the rest of the body, it's nice to just have this so you don't accidentally weight paint something down here and you get in the game, you realize when your bun moves to the side, your entire like, part of your arm will move over to or whatever but uh yeah so um right click the mesh go to op go down to where it says object go to weight paint instead and uh, this if you select either of the bones make sure you select and deselect it should be all purple initially uh what you gotta do is make sure you make sure you like deselect and select again because it's a little buggy and something doesn't register but make sure you just select both and um it should be all like a purplish color and basically what you gotta do is uh Go up to your tools here. You have weight, and usually um, in this case, I'll just set to full weight. If you hold Control and Alt, and then you hold left click and drag, 
it'll do a circle here like that and that's really easy uh, way to do weight painting with some uh, nice transitions it'll actually go through the mesh so it's like a it's like an x-ray kind of control z to undo if you mess up but uh since it'll be like this part here what i'm going to do is i want to just kind of spread this around kind of like that here and I'm not doing this completely accurate because I kind of spent a lot of time last time and you can fiddle with it uh, if you go to zero you can do the same thing I'm just dragging using control and alt except this time I'm erasing it with the zero weight paint and now if you uh, make sure you click off and on to make sure it was applied see it was applied there so you need to do the R or G or whatever R is to rotate See, if I move that, this part moves. However, the back part here has no weight painting on it, so it's not actually going to be moving. But that is for this bone. So you can do the same thing here. Set the weight paint up. And maybe try to make it transition nice. I'm not spending a lot of time, uh, because I just want to go, go through this a little bit quicker. But you see, like, that works much better now. There's nothing getting caught there. Same thing here. It's really messy. But it's just something like that, and you can finesse with it more. And so, yeah, that's how you can do the weight paints. Then you can get back down to object mode. Uh, select the bones again, and you see there, now you have part of your mesh weight painted. And uh, you'll learn as you experiment with this how to do different settings. Like, say, if you wanted to um, add some physics to the thighs, of course, uh, what you could do is I think I already did some here. Uh, yeah, so this bone here. So if I go to uh, weight paint you'll see that uh, uh, the way I added the bone position up there because of how it rotates, it'll kind of give it a little bit better if it was right in the middle and it was rotating, which is why it's up there. Position does matter because it rotates from the head. So wherever the head is, it'll rotate from that position. It'll drag the rest of the mesh along in regards to where that head is. Um, so yeah, there you go. So I see I didn't do full weight paint. So even though if it moves 90 degrees, the mesh isn't going to be completely moved up to the side. The less um, strength it has, so red is the most, it will move completely with the bone. Green is like halfway. It won't move completely. It will move like maybe half-ish. And then like light blue is like barely move. And then blue is just none. So that's kind of how that works. You can do the, some fading. Learn how to do certain things. And I'm not a professional at this whatsoever. I have no idea if this is actually a good way to do it or not. It works for my cases and I'm still learning on how to do this, but that is the process you can do. And as you get go through this and just do more with it, you'll learn better methods or better solutions to these kinds of problems. You may find out a better way than I have right here, uh, but it's all up to you and uh, just gotta be creative with it. And uh, yeah, let me uh, switch over. Uh, mm, And uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a it's a pretty short video, but um, it's pretty informal. I like to think, uh, nonetheless. And I'll be making more of these uh, on certain topics. If you want want me to cover a certain topic, uh, just comment it down below or whatever. And uh, I'd be more than happy to go over it. Uh, there's so many things I don't really know where to start, and so I'll do this. Or if you want. Uh, so like another part of this, I don't know, maybe maybe this part is something you know, but in Unity is the harder part where you're getting the right physics for it. Uh, dynamic bones is a surprisingly uh, complex component, more so than I thought when I first started using, uh, using it. So maybe I'll make a video on that next. But regardless, I hope this helps you guys a lot, uh, in any way at least, and Feel free to ask questions and comments. Uh, I'll most likely respond here. You know, it's not not, not going to be getting too many anyway. So, uh, yeah, feel free to contact me in any way. I have my Discord and uh, my VR chat in the description below. So you can get in contact, with, contact with me in that way as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Um, all right, and before we end the video, actually, I want to go here and I'll show you some settings you can actually use on... Uh, this specific thing so like on the head here for this uh, bun I did the two bones um, to get the kind of physics settings I wanted to uh, right here on this bone it'd be called like head 01 if you don't rename it and uh, 
that's kind of what I have here. You can see that I actually turned the elasticity down to zero, which gives like a gravity effect. But you might want that up if you want it to stay upright because see, see how mine's kind of drooping? I kind of wanted that, but it's the same thing about it. And then you see that it actually has some nice, like good physics there for the uh, bun. And the same thing with the uh, thighs here. If I go and I'll show you one of them. This is what I have for the thighs here. Is add the exclusions because this is the bone here for the thigh. And uh, if I move the model, like, sorry for all the colliders, but you can see the the bones actually kind of moving there a bit. And it's kind of I should probably turn it down so you don't move as much. But you can see that's kind of how it works there. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I hope that helps. Alrighty, and that should be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, um, you can comment down below and I can answer it there. Um, I should be pretty quick in response. Or also, I have a Discord and my VR chat account in the description, so you can also contact me in that way. Uh, you can check out my world if you want on VR chat. Uh, it's down there. I have the name of that as well. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and you learned some good stuff from this. Anything, really. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.